Hi everybody, welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. Rachel here, hope you're all well. So today, or rather for you, it'll be the 10th of September when you're watching this video. I am forward um, recording because I am actually away at the moment. As you're watching this video, I will be standing somewhere in the streets of Newcastle, um, waiting for Shaw to come through from the half marathon. Um, now, before I go on, if you didn't watch my last video, the one that says, I have something for you, <laughs> or I've got something for you, um, please do go and watch it, because I do have something for you. There is a free kit, and if you go and watch the video, you will find it all about it. Um, it's completely free. It's a thank you. We've reached um, 18,000 subscribers, <laughs> I can't believe it, um, on the channel, and um, yeah, I just wanted to do something to say thank you very much, and to give something back to all of you guys. So please, please, please do go and check that out. Also mentioned in that video is how you could get your hands on this beautiful journal. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to let it go, but there we are. So, and there's a full flip through, full flip through, that's a mouthful, um, of the altered book on um, the last video. So if you haven't yet checked that out, please do pop over and check that out. Right, okay. That doesn't fall. So where are we? Well, by the time I've done this video today, um, we've gotten this far. I have had much, much fun this morning watching Wendy's um, umbrella video. Her letter U was marvellous. I loved it. Um, we've had Marie from Crafty Landing. She made a mini notebook with some tea bag um, uh, cases, I think, for want of a better word. I have got a pack of those somewhere. Do you think I can find them? No. Uh, Karen, she put together a signature or a signature cover, I think it was, sorry. And then Julie from Camellia Crafts, bless her heart, she made us a whole mini journal. It was amazing. Um, and I had much fun, as I'm sure you did, uh, watching along with her. She always makes me laugh. She's a tonic. So you will also, I hope, have checked out Chill's Crafts, Stacy's Crafty Jam, and then Shirl at Crafty Shamrock Designs. So if you haven't yet seen the videos, please don't forget to go and check out their videos. Um, because we're nearly at the end now and I really hate it when I feel that sometimes perhaps the girls that are in the last week get a bit forgotten so please don't lose momentum please keep going keep supporting them don't forget as well the um, giveaway now there's quite a few prizes have come in now for the giveaway they've accumulated over the course of the um, collaboration so um, over the weekend I hope I have had time to have put up a post I'll put it on the community page on YouTube I'll put it on my social media and I'm gonna just Check in with everybody and we'll get a list together of all the prizes just so you know what you're playing for. Uh, but basically to enter the giveaway you just need to leave a comment on every video that is in the um, collaboration lineup and you need to like the video and if you wouldn't mind subscribing that would be absolutely amazing. Because um, I know some of our ladies here, especially Wendy, I think she mentioned as well today, she's a complete newbie. So I'd really, really appreciate you showing them your support because there's quite a lot of you watching along. So, um, you know, you could make a huge difference to these ladies. Okay, so we've done R through to W. So you know me, I do try to like to try and put a bit of a spin on it. So I went back to the alphabet. I was sat there yesterday. <laughs> no, it was this morning. I was laid on the settee because I hurt my neck. And I got this um, like little curly wave thing that I've been lying on to try and, you know, sort my shoulders out one thing or another. So I sat there with my arms up in the air reading this, thinking, right, what, what can we have? So I came up with sewn ruffles, and then, of course, I was going to go with tickets. Why not? Um, the umbrella, I had to chuck in an umbrella for uh, Wendy, because that was marvellous. And then I thought, well, we'll pick up the vintage wallpaper, because that sounds good. I can work with that, and that was kind of all, you know, really inspiring me so you see because i was looking for inspiration from the letters to then put together your freebies let me show you the freebies so this week now i do apologize because i got a bit over enthusiastic earlier and i've already cut this one up <laughs> but the, the one sheet is um a sheet of vintage wallpaper that's what these are from these images they're actually from the nana's roses kit but they are vintage wallpaper uh, so the vintage wallpaper strips and i'm going to show you in a moment what i've done with them so bear with me and the second freebie i'll just move all out of the way is this lovely sheet here so i've done you uh, a selection of tickets um but i have joined some of them together i mean obviously you can cut them if you want them singly entirely up to you but i just felt it gave you options and i'm going to show you in a second as well what i've done with those i'm not going to do a tutorial today guys um because it's about 33 degrees in my craft room this evening it's half past 11 at night 
I've been waiting all day to do this video. It is so hot here. I'm literally melting into the chair. It's horrible. I've had a shower and I think I'm going to have to go have another one. So to sit and do a uh, tutorial tonight is just not going to happen. My brain is <laughs> frying as I'm speaking. So bear with me because this is going to be a really short video. Um, I've also popped in a beautiful little umbrella for you to replicate that lovely uh, project that um, Wendy showed you, which was marvellous. Um, and I've also popped in some different types of, um, what are these tickets? I've popped some lace on some of them, so they're really vintagey. I did a, put a window in for the W, um, and then just a couple of other images from the two kits. So you've got those, you've got the, um, the vintage wallpaper strips. Now you can either use these as washi strips, I can tie it to you, faux washi strips, sorry, I should say. But I do have a couple of ideas of what you can do. So bear with me a second while I kind of get my... So here's all of our little tickets. I'm just going to pop those up there so I don't forget them. And then our, our umbrella envelope, can they call it? That's definitely not an envelope. Okay, so what I did was I took the... As I said to you, the word I picked up was sewn ruffles. That was what I got from R&S. So that's exactly what I did. I'd taken... Oh, these ones are out of the autumn kit. Um, if you check out that free video, uh, free video, that video with the free kit. See what I'm talking about? I'm talking nonsense. Um, you'll see that these are in there. Uh, so you've got, you'll have two sets of strips actually then, because you'll have the one in the free kit and then obviously these ones today. Um, and I've literally made ruffles with them, which I just have obviously stitched, which I think look rather cute. Um, they really finish off a page quite nicely. And the thing is, I find as well, let me just grab my little journal in a minute which is getting quite full now um thank you you can obviously pop them onto the edge like that which is perfectly fine but in the past i have actually also used them as uh, little pockets so you could pop one across the bottom there as a pocket you could pop one here and have it as a side tack not you know have it poking out but just have something to stick underneath there or you could even run one across the top of the page and have a, a tuck up there so don't feel that you have to be limited with these to popping them just on the edge of the page. You know, they are quite versatile. There's lots of things that you can be doing with them. So that was those. Then I thought, right, well, let's get a little bit adventurous now. If we want it to be really vintagey. So what I did with this one, I actually took a piece of vintage book paper and I kind of weaved that into my ruffle as well. So that's another option for um, what you can do there. Um, oh, that was one of the other ones there. I do like these ones as well marvellous then i thought well let's try it with some lovely vintage lace so this one here i popped the lace through the middle there as you can see i've used um like a, a brown with a blue through it and then these two here i've used a lovely white lace so let's take out um but i think it really sets them off so that's just a couple of ideas of how you can put them together and obviously you can use them as washi tape if you want to Cut them, and I know that why didn't you either print them smaller or cut them down? But if you printed them two to a page, they'd actually be quite thin, so they'd be ideal of that too. Um, you can use them in Franken paper. So if you've got like half a book page, you could stitch that onto the edge of the book page and you know grow your Franken paper out. There's a very good tutorial on our channel. If you go back a little bit on that, uh, we did have a quite a giggle about that. My Frankenstein paper, we named it. Um, so yeah, and then of course you can try adding bits of either lace or fabric or book pages into them. So that's just a couple of options for you there, guys, on what you can do with your little strips. Or our sewn ruff ruffles, as we can call them. Now, the tickets, what I've done with the tickets, I cut them out, obviously. Good place to start, really, isn't it? Um, and then I've turned them into little notebooks. So I didn't print on the back of them, I forgot. So I just stamped on the inside there and there, and then I've literally just run this through my sewing machine. It is a little bit skewer. I was I'm very, very hot. <laughs> I'm very hot. So I do apologise. It was done a little bit quickly, but actually it looks a bit like a butterfly, I think. So yeah, I've managed to get four nice little pages in there, but I think that'll pop quite nicely now into a pocket in um, my journal. All I want to do is just uh, ink the edges up, and then that one will be done quite nicely um and then i've done a different one then this was a another one that's on the page and i've done this one on the side so like a normal notebook again i've stenciled on the inside oh, this was a new ink i had this week oh my goodness look it is mermaid lagoon i have to tell you it's stunning i love it but it's like a real teal do you know what i mean real teal it took me ages to choose because there were so many but i love it 
Um, so yeah, sorry, I digressed. They are, um, oh, and I haven't cut the, the edges off that then. They're packed. I've got all my stuff packed up ready. I've got a load of fussy cutting to do on the train. It's a six hour train journey tomorrow. Yep, so the other half downloaded a load of films and I'm like, eh, blow that. I'm going to do all my fussy cutting. I've got stacks there to do. Stacks. Right, there we go. So I like that. I think that's really, really cute. And then the small one, I did another one with, which I thought was even cuter. And I literally used all the scrappy bits that was left from there. I've popped into here and I think that's lovely. I think that'll be a perfect addition to a little notebook or um, into your journal to pop into a pocket. So there we go. Now, another idea for you, you can, if you really wanted to, utilize these then as little pockets and tucks inside so you could place a couple of the tickets just on the inside or on the inside pages if you want to make it like a little mini journal use this as a little pocket you pop that into the top you know you've got options there so that's why i've popped in a couple of different sizes um just to see how um creative and adventurous that you can be and of course you've still got all of the other stuff from the other freebies that have come out in the recent weeks because this is actually number five for august i was quite surprised when i was doing them today um so yeah just a few ideas for you guys you didn't need me to talk you through that with a tutorial video um and i don't mean to sell you short today <laughs> by just coming to see me for the freebies but i really am so hot you know and i get any sense of them tonight um and i have to push back in now so um if you wouldn't mind just checking out that last video um go and collect your kit um don't forget as well to check out the other um uh, collaborators that have been on this week and of course not forgetting our lovely three ladies now uh monday tuesday wednesday next week pamela sandy and lynn um who bless their hearts have got x y and z um i think goodness we'll have to wait and see what they come up with i'm sure there'll be something really exciting and really uh inspirational is what i'm looking for but of course as we know the letters don't really matter um we just love hearing what they've brought and their ideas and their inspiration so i'm going to leave you there guys have a wonderful weekend um and i will be back with you in the week with lots of tales of newcastle i'm sure hopefully not wilting in the heat <laughs> um keep safe and keep cool see you soon bye now